Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I showed you how to create an infographic in Canva, and as I was doing that, I realized that there are a few things that I do that really speed up my workflow. So that's what I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about building your online business. So if you are an online entrepreneur, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so here is one of my graphics and I'm going to demo all of my tips and tricks with this one. So my first trick is to link elements together. So at the moment, if I click on one of these icons, it's its own separate icon. And if I move it around, I'm only moving that magnifying glass around. However, sometimes in order to speed things up, you want to be able to move multiple elements at one time. So the way that you do this is you just drag your mouse over the elements that you want to link. And then you'll see that this option group comes up, click on that, and that is going to link the elements together. So now you can move both of them at the same time. So this really comes in handy, especially when you have, you know, like multiple text boxes, uh, like I have down here. If I were to group all of these together, um, it's really convenient because I can just move them all and, you know, all the spacing and everything will remain the same. So one issue with this that you might run into is you might be trying, you know, to highlight these top two icons and then accidentally include this third one as well. That's totally fine. All you need to do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then you're going to click on the element that you want to deselect and that's all that you need to do. So really simple workaround for that. Um, but yeah, this one saves me a lot of time. My second trick is to duplicate your design. So rather than going down to the bottom here and clicking add a new page and having to start from scratch, you do not need to do this. Instead, if you scroll up to your design and you click this little icon here, that's going to copy the image um, as a whole. So what's really great about this is I'll use this for templates and then all I need to do is switch out the text and I can keep everything else the same. This next one I just want to cover. It's, it's not really a trick or anything. I just want you to know that you can click on an element and then you can click copy, um, which I use a lot actually. So just so you know, you have that option there. Now my next trick is to display only the free elements. So let's say that I wanted to go over here and I wanted to find a, um, let's go with email icon. So I type that in and all these options appear, but often you'll see that, you know, there's some paid options as well. Even though they're only a dollar, which is awesome and really affordable, you might just, you know, be wanting to use the free options. So in that case, you're going to go up here to the drop down arrow and click free only. And now this is going to display all of the free icons. My next one is the arrange feature. Again, this isn't really a trick, but I just want to make sure that you know this one. So when you click on an element, you'll see that this arrange tab comes up. So what this does is this is moving the element uh, forward or back. So if I change this to back, this is going to go behind this little um, ribbon detail that I have. What do you call that? Ribbon? Flag? I don't know. <laughs> um, that thing. It's going behind that. Um, so yeah, it's just really important. Like sometimes DIYers can get stuck because they'll accidentally be, you know, in the wrong position. So all you got to do is go arrange and send it to the back and vice versa. You can move things forward as well. All right. So my final time saver is making use of folders. So if you head over to uploads, um, this is where, you know, you can upload all of your own images, uh, but sometimes, you know, it can get really intense and you can have a ton of different photos. Um, and can never find what you're looking for. At least that is what happens to me all the time. So instead, I started making use of folders. 
which is the best thing ever. So, but in order to get to them, it's kind of weird. You just need to click uploads and then it's going to make all of your folders visible for you. So as you can see, I have this little folder here and this is all my TV icons that I use. Then I have all of my arrows and another folder where it's all of the photos of me that I can use on my YouTube thumbnails. Um, so yeah, this really comes in handy. Make sure that you categorize your uploads because otherwise your uploads main folder will just get a little hectic. <laughs> so that is my final tip. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it and that it really helps speed up your workflow in Canva. If you have any other little hacks like this, I would love to hear about them. So just leave those for me in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and remember to hit the little bell icon so that you actually get notified when I post something. And let me know if you liked this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.